Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Activision logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the top one is an image, the bottom one is the logo created inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And the reason why we are using PowerPoint this time is of course this uh, merge shape function, which is mm, unfortunately missing in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I will start with a blank presentation where I already have this logo pasted in and I will open the format ribbon and select colors for this picture and make it faded so light gray it is so it's not getting in our way we can clearly see what's going on what we are drawing i will zoom in and i will probably start with some easy shape like maybe just c letter this is should be fine because there is a very similar shape in the shape so I will, if i select insert shapes there should be a shape which is called block arc and if i draw it with the shift key being pressed like this and just move those yellow handles to kind of make it look like the same what I will probably do is I will most likely open the fill properties, more fill colors, and I will increase the transparency to some value like 60% or so, just so I can see what's below. And I will most likely right click and select set as default shape. This will cause that any newly drawn shapes will have this uh, fill and outline properties. Then I will move those yellow handles to kind of match this you know, size and the shape of the C letter. And I'm pretty happy with this result. So I will copy paste this shape. And I will use this shape one more time, but this time for the O letter. You can see I can either move this all the way to this, to this, or I can select Edit Shape, Change Shape, and change this shape to this uh, shape which is Circle Hollow. And suddenly, you know, I have this O letter. The next easy one are of course uh, those I letters because those are just rectangles. So I will draw a rectangle like this and position it using my arrow key on my keyboard then I will copy paste it by uh, dragging the shape uh, holding the control and shift key on my keyboard just so it's moving in the vertical or oh, sorry horizontal direction and I will do it one more time because there are three layers like this okay before I jump to the more more complicated one I will probably draw the N shape the N letter so I will insert new shape and this time it will most likely be maybe this uh, a rectangle with one uh, uh, corner being uh, cut out so I will draw it probably a little bit smaller than it needs to be because the corner could only be cut to the half of the shape which is uh, you know if I draw it all the way to the top we, we will not get this uh, spike so I will duplicate this shape and I will rotate it holding the shift key on my keyboard by 180 degrees and I need to draw this in you know, middle shape for which I will most likely use uh, this one, parallelogram. I will draw it like this, but I have to of course rotate it. Sorry, by 180 degrees and kind of match the sizes. So I will resize it like this and then I will use this yellow handle to kind of match this this angle of the letter you can see it's a little bit off but it's almost the same at least the spikes are matching so that's fine okay so let's move to the little bit more complex letters that could be the letter a and letter v i will zoom out a little bit just a little bit and i will draw maybe a triangle for a letter so insert shapes a triangle which will be this isosceles triangle and i will draw it like this I will resize it to the bottom and I will resize it to both sides holding the control key on my keyboard just a little bit more okay like this then I will copy paste it or duplicate it and move it to the bottom so later on I will just subtract this from the main shape and I need this rectangle in you know in the middle which I will add later on I will probably reuse this triangle one more time for the V letter so I will rotate it by 180 degrees and it seems like it should be a little bit wider so I will make it a little bit wider again not everything but just the letter V sorry again holding the control key on my keyboard I will make it a little bit wider on both sides I will duplicate it like this and then I need those two shapes for which I will most likely use uh, maybe parallelogram as well maybe I will use this trapezoid that will be probably better Okay, I'll use the trapezoid like this. I will make sure that the size is right and adjust the sides by dragging this yellow handle. I will duplicate the shape and move it to the right side. And I need one more rectangle for letter T. So I believe that the only missing part is the letter S, which is probably the most complicated one. 
and previously I was, I was trying to draw it using several different shapes. If I, you know, change, change uh, sorry, show my previous document, I believe I have the unmerged shape somewhere in here, which is this one. And you can see I was trying to, you know, draw the sh shape using the rectangles and circles. When I merge this together, you know, there will still be some imperfections. If I zoom in, you can see that the, you know, points are not really matching. There are some something which is which looks a little bit wrong. So maybe instead of trying to replicate this using the standard shapes, I will jump to drawing a custom shape using the custom shape tool, which is called freeform tool. So I'll insert shapes freeform tool and I will simply click uh, in the corners and where the lines are straight. So this is a straight line. But here should be like a, you know, or should be a, a circle, not circle, but curve. And I've suddenly clicked outside, so I have to do it one more time. So insert shapes, freeform shape tool. So this is the straight line. Here is a curve and second one here. Here starts the straight line. This is straight line. This is straight line. This is straight line. Here is one curve, second curve, straight line. And we can close this shape. I will zoom in as much as I can. I will right click and select edit points. And for most points, I will right click and select smooth point. So this should be smooth point. This should be smooth point. This should be smooth point. This should be smooth point as well. I believe this one as well. So this should be a straight line. I will move it like this. This should be um, horizontal. This should be vertical. This should be vertical as well, but much smaller. And this should be straight line like this. Okay, this should be vertical, but a little bit bigger. And this should be vertical, but a little bit smaller. And I believe we kind of more or less have the same looking shape. It's not perfect, but you know, we are not having any extra points like we would have if we use custom shapes, which we would merge together. So the only missing part is merging individual shapes together. I will probably hide the picture because I don't need it anymore. And I will start bar by selecting the first uh, triangle and the second one for layer A. I will select Format, Merge Shapes, Subtract. And I will select those two shapes, Merge Shapes Union. So I have the layer A. Then I will subtract those two triangles and merge it with all the other shapes. So the line the above the logo and the letter T, Merge Shapes Union. And the only missing part is mer merging the letter N. So Merge Shapes Union and we have letter N. I can select everything, change the fill to be black without any transparency. So I'll decrease the transparency to 0% and I don't need any outline. I can probably group everything together and I can show this together with the original logo just so we have a comparison if we were able to somehow replicate it to, to a point where you cannot tell the difference. And that's it. That's how you create the Activision logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.